Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Rudd of Rudd's Home Farm and today I'm going to walk you through my urban hydroponic farm. Uh, I do urban hydroponics because I live in a townhouse and I have no outside land. So if you live in an apartment or in a townhouse or a condo and you have no outside land to grow and you still want to have a garden, let me show you my setup and so you too can do it at home. So first we're going to start with our grow tent. Um, this is a uh, Vivosun grow tent. Uh, if you want to get any of these tools, then you can go to my website and uh, I have affiliate links for all these items that you can get for yourself. Uh, what I like about this grow tent here is that the water pan at the bottom is waterproof. It's got this little extra pan here that catches all the water. So even though this is in my basement, you can put this in your bedroom you can, um, you could put this in your kitchen, you could put this in your dining room, you could pretty much put this anywhere. And uh, the cool thing is, is that when you're not using it, when you're not actively, you know, messing around with it, you could close this, close this up like so. And then it's just, it's not, the light isn't disturbing anybody. It's dark, you know, so it's, it's really, I highly recommend if you're apartment living, to get a grow tent like this to where you can just do all your hydroponics uh, or you could just do potted plants in here. And uh, that's a really good way to get started with hydroponics. Um, I also, this is my here, this is my germination station right here. So this is just a, a, a cheaper light. Uh, and I'm right now I'm germinating some tomatoes right here on the left some lavender uh i want to try out some longer term plants you know instead of doing the fruits and vegetables and the leafy greens and over here is lettuce so again it's it's fairly easy to germinate plants i just use the heat the low heat from the grow the, from the grow light i leave it on 24 hours a day and then it gives off a little bit of heat not too much yeah i can put my hand on it and it just feels warm maybe uh it's 80 degrees at most right here and then that's and I keep it real close to here and that's good enough to kind of heat this grow tent. Um, one thing to watch out is you don't want to use a heat mat like you would a soil one because you would literally just boil the water in here and kill all the plants. So no heat mat, just light from here. Moving on, this is my other station here. I'm on a strawberry kick, as you can see. Um, you can use different containers. You can see over there I used uh, buckets, but you could also put multiple plants in one container. Uh, let's go ahead and lift her up. So I have a pump in here to circulate and I also have an air bubbler here to circulate everything. So you got to keep that air moving. You can see the beautiful white roots here, very healthy plants. Uh, I made way too many strawberry plants. So I'm probably gonna have to re reduce the number of, because each plant produces a lot of fruit and it's like I'm kind of having trouble getting rid of all the produce from this and plus you have to hand pollinate and so it's kind of like these plants are like a little bit more work than than uh than I would like per plant and I, I you know I work full time and I don't have a ton of time and I got kids and stuff so really can't spend a ton of time down here so but I still do enjoy this very much uh, and here's a the, my second grow tent with a, a different light it's a it's a it's pretty much the other one has two lights this is just one combined as light so it's pretty much the same light Here's some more strawberries. Like I said, way too many strawberries. But, uh, you know, I didn't know how many, how much each one was going to provide at first. So that's what this setup looks like. Here you can get a good view here. You can kind of get a side view of everything in these shelves. Um, I can put plants on these shelves here. So pretty much as I germinate stage one from seedlings, like these are only like maybe three days old. And then when they're seedlings, they'll go down here in the second stage here. And they'll spend a few weeks in the second stage down here germinating, uh, continuing to be seedling. And then by the time they're uh, ready to turn into full adult plants, that's usually when I put them in the grow tent under the very intense lights. So it's kind of like three stages. So far, that's it. Um, I also have one more thing. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. There's another one upstairs that I, I mess around with. Let's go up there. If you're looking to go light, um, you could use one of these. I'll show you a picture with some plants in it right now. And pretty much you could grow anything in here 
that you would can grow downstairs if you just want to you know start off you know hey i'm just starting with hydroponics this is a great item to start with um you could do hydroponics these are right here these are buckets that are designed for the hydroponics you put the water in here but also if you're using potted plants you could take these out and then you could bottom water your plants in here it's designed for both methods and then it's even got a little timer on here um you can see that you can set it up for how many hours a day uh, it is a very low intensity light so i usually keep it on 24 hours and it can sec double as a you know evening kitchen light so like you know i come down from a nice snack or something this is on it's not too uh hard on the eyes and so you can come down here and it'll be a light for you it's, it's and for the plants it's pretty good so if you really want to just kind of start light get it started you know you can grow vegetables in here you can grow fruit you can grow pretty much anything you like in here i'm about to put some lavender in here kind of decorative flowers um you know so maybe some decorative flowers so i highly recommend this uh this is like this is my kitchen table here so it can just go in the corner of the kitchen table it's super small this can also go on a counter it can pretty much fit anywhere you want and you could grow quite a bit of fruit in here um my only issue is, is that there's so many net cups because usually plants get big like most plants get big like lettuce gets big um uh pretty much anything you could think of will get fairly big and there's a lot of holes in here but they do come with these uh, handy little covers here right here you can put them over put them over the put them over the hole and uh also it's white but i don't when you're when you're using when you're doing hydroponics you're changing the water out at most every two weeks and so i've never really had a problem with hydroponics so i've used these containers there's no stains from uh algae or nothing so like i said you know i really don't have problem with white containers um some people prefer to have black containers so they don't have any algae for any reason but it, a little bit doesn't matter to me because i'm i'm changing out the water so often so there you have it i hope you enjoyed the video subscribe Go to my website, you know, um, subscribe to my email as well because I got courses coming out. I got, I'm going in depth. We're going to talk a lot about hydroponics and indoor growing, especially for apartment and uh, townhouse condo living. So stand by. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.